how you got to know about analytics lab all the fields mm. wherever the business and wherever this data is collecting mm-hmm. all those fields require the analytics when you left your job at uh, tcs as a system engineer coding mm. Uh, coding okay since mine is electrical background mm. there is not much involvement of the coding that went uh, about 4 uh, years mm. but uh, for any reason i couldn't crack the exams mm. hello everyone so today we have shiva with us who is currently working as a business analyst with cure fit now what is most fascinating thing about him is he has a year gap of 4 and then he was also working as a system engineer with tcs before that so with the year gap and with the profile of system engineer he was able to transition into a business analyst role with cure fit hello shiva how are you hey i'm fine how are you i am doing great so shiva the very first thing that everyone wants to know it is, is your background uh mm-hmm. you mentioned that uh, i was having a conversation with you and you mentioned that you are from uh, electronics and electrical background yes. and then you got into tcs yes. as a system engineer. system engineer so you can talk can you talk more about this journey and what was your background yeah means i completed this btech means b or btech from basveshwar engineering college is karnataka only mm. it's almost a retire three city city and then i got the campus uh, then into the tcs so where i worked as a system engineer for one year then again as i already mentioned like uh there i developed this interest on preparing for the uh, competitive exams mm-hmm. so i practiced there only mm-hmm. then i decided completely dedicate on the preparation mm-hmm. so then i left the tcs and started preparing on my own mm-hmm. so that went uh, about 4 uh, years mm-hmm. but Uh, for any reason i couldn't crack the exams mm-hmm. so in between also i got the interest into learning the python mm-hmm. and data science and mm-hmm. data engineering so then there also like in the transition only i started learning the python on myself so for basically when you left your job at uh, tcs as a system engineer mm-hmm. you were doing preparation for uh, government examinations yes. and then side by side you also developed the interest of analytics and yes. data science yes. and so how you got to know about this field so since i was exposed to the many of current affairs and other okay, things okay yes uh, and reading about uh, many things mm-hmm. while preparing mm-hmm. uh, this is a fascinating field the data and data analytics mm-hmm. and this will be in the transition for at least another decade or two mm-hmm. so yeah means all the fields mm-hmm. wherever the business and wherever this data is collecting mm-hmm. all those fields require the analytics correct correct so correct then if i supposed to move into any uh, job role mm-hmm. then i thought this could be a better option so okay. since i i had a interest on the, those things as mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. so then i started preparing great my slide so when you took this decision of uh starting your journey in analytics mm-hmm. before that how was your coding skills and maybe how was your interaction with computers and coding plus my second question is together with that mm-hmm. how were you in maths because these are the two commonly asked questions to me mm-hmm. uh, i am a non technical background i have a fear of math can i be in analytics plus i am very feared about coding can i be into analytics so what is what was your background math math is average like most of the engineering students mm. i was also okay with the math mm. not like a mathematician level mm. just as fine with the engineering level great then uh, regarding this uh, coding coding mm. uh, coding okay since mine is electrical background mm. there is not much involvement of the coding uh, most things uh, what i can remember is like a microcontroller or just the basics of uh, c c++ one of the subjects in the first year of uh, mm-hmm. engineering mm-hmm. Uh, other than that there is no background of the coding okay so this is entirely from the scratch and mostly whatever i could remember about the coding is like if some there is some uh, things i would just used to youtube it and then whatever they were doing it just copy paste it that is the only thing i did it with the coding before that so basically our uh, when you started your analytics journey you were average in maths mm-hmm. plus you were coding skills maybe you were not with coding you were you know what is no, coding yes, you it. only knew what is coding you never did it on your own right, right? 
great now uh, how you got to know about analytics lab uh, since i was preparing on myself for the python mm. so i decided completely go with the analytics as a career mm. so then i started searching about the op- opportunities where i can study where mm. i can develop the skills mm. so then i ex- do the extensive search on the internet mm. and filter out some of the other uh, institutes with the analytics lab also mm. then compared what is they teaching what are the um, mm. things they are providing mm. uh, how better the skills they will upgrade me mm. so then after comparing all those things i get to know this analytics lab along with the course they mm. are providing this mentorship as well mm. so what is like uh, after auto whatever the classes they take they will give some projects they will give the mentors as well mm. and uh, if if uh, somebody has a uh, doubts they can immediately ask the doubts in the mentors in mm. mentorship session mm. they will make us sit in the class and do the practice so that way it is it is beneficial i thought at that time only like okay this is better than doing a course on my own and then doing the projects on my own so like you basically if, yeah, if you there are somebody yes. helping us that could be a better one okay. so that made me go with the analytics lab hmm. so that comes to two as well after doing the course uh, it's almost like a most 70% of the course hmm. contains the mentorship hmm. so yeah that way it helped me a lot so uh, what was in the entire course duration if i ask you to pinpoint three things mm-hmm. that made you believe that your investment that you have made in in, in an altex lab was worth it three things one is this teaching so the trainers were good mm. uh, they were working professionals mm. uh, they come and teach us and they were also easily accessible like whenever we can ask them the doubts mm. uh, other thing is the mentorship mm. uh, like i said the doubts clearing and uh, they are also uh, very knowledgeable persons mm. Uh, though they are not the working professionals mm. but somebody who has done this course mm. and already into the practicing mm. uh, they will be uh, assigned us as a mentor mm. and they will guide us mm. and other thing is uh, chandramouli sir and uh, the staff they are very helping mm. and even uh, now also chandramouli sir is uh, means constantly in touch with us mm. and guiding what could be a better things you can explore more great great so uh, when you were in your uh, interview with the cure fit as you mentioned you have transitioned yourself into cure fit as a business analyst mm-hmm. how difficult or how uh, easy was this particular interview process with uh, with the uh, cure fit and uh, was the mentorship or was the uh, support that was provided by an analytics lab was it something that you found useful during that process for the knowledge part it is very helpful mm. but as i said the practice and the skills you have to develop on your own mm. so even it is, whether it is an analytics lab or any other uh, institute mm. they can't give uh, knowledge or skill about how to do the analytics mm. they can only teach you the sql part and other uh, tools mm. but analytics you you get to know by practicing it mm-hmm. so and i constantly used to ask the chandramouli sir the projects mm. and he was helping me with the other projects as well and along with me there are many other students who personally go go to him and ask the separate projects all, apart from this course mm-hmm. so that practice helped me so then uh, he also used to give feedback about how to improve also mm-hmm. so that way that practice uh, helped me to think on the analytics part mm-hmm. not just the technical skills mm-hmm. so that thing helped me and even um, i got to know this interview process is happening i constantly uh, taking the feedback from the chandra sir so in the process as well he guided me how to prepare for the interviews as well mm-hmm. uh, yeah that way it was helpful great great so um shiva one one or two last questions mm-hmm. uh number one if someone is listening to you uh with same background or same kind of um let's say same kind of attitude the person is currently not working mm-hmm. had a year gap or maybe had couple of year gaps then what will be your suggestion to that person 
ओके सो द ईयर गैप और द नो बैकग्राउंड दिस इज नॉट द मैटर लाइक यू कैन बिल्ड द एक्सपर्ट दिस इज अ स्किल यू कैन लर्न सो या विद द बेटर गाइडेंस एंड विद द बेटर डेडिकेशन यू कैन लर्न एनी स्किल whether it is analytics or any any skill mm-hmm. so same way like for the gap there is a one more thing you need to tackle you will be competing with the recent passers as well mm-hmm. experienced persons as well mm-hmm. so you have to build that expertise mm-hmm. with the one step better than them mm-hmm. so if you are getting into the interview mm-hmm. so there will be a candidates who have this experience as well mm-hmm. who are recent passers recent passers mm-hmm. who will be available for the companies with a better valuation mm-hmm. uh, so if you showcase this expertise mm-hmm. better than them mm-hmm. you will be getting the chance great 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 so uh, one final last question um after completing your journey with analytics lab and after getting a transition what three things that you will uh, suggest to the people who are listening to us and who are still in the dilemma of whether they should take this course or not one is ask yourself whether you have the interest in it mm. so just because you are seeing the jobs or job profiles of somebody mm. who is having a better package or better uh, environment that doesn't give you a better opportunities mm. if you are interested into this mm. then go to the analytics mm. if you are interested into the coding then go to the analytics mm. so coding is okay you don't have to be a hardcore mm. uh, hardcore coder mm. but coding required mm. so that again the interest is a main thing and then find the way where you can upgrade that skill in a better way mm. like analytics lab or any other uh, institute which will provide a better opportunities mm. in terms of upgrading the skills mm. not just providing the knowledge mm. so these things if you are focused then it would be a better thing great great thanks shiva for your time and for this particular discussion and i hope you guys would have learned something from his journey and if you guys have any questions related to this discussion or if you want to ask any question to shiva please feel free to drop your questions on the comment section we will get it answered and for more such insightful discussions keep following analytics lab